from Indy's streaming news leader. This is a WRTV update. And I'm Lauren Casey with your latest headlines. New today, the judge in the trial of a man who killed Southport Police Lieutenant Aaron Allen says he'll make a final ruling one week from today. Attorneys finished up closing arguments in that case this morning. The attorneys for Jason Dane Brown claim that he had a head injury and suffered a seizure that led to a car crash back in 2017 and caused him to open fire on the officer as Allen was trying to help him. Prosecutors say Brown was high on drugs at the time he fired 18 shots at the officer. Brown waived his right to a jury trial to avoid the death penalty, so his fate will be up to the judge. Again, Marion Superior Court Judge Mark Stoner says he'll issue a verdict next Tuesday, February 22nd. New this midday, a 12-year-old is in the hospital but is okay after a hit-and-run crash on the city's west side. This happened just after 7 this morning at 34th and High School Road. The child was walking to school when she was hit, and police say the driver left the scene following the crash. So far, police have not released a description of the suspect or the vehicle, but if you have any information, you can leave a tip with Crime Stoppers at 317-262-TIPS. Let's get a check right now of our forecast on this Tuesday with Todd Glosson. And Lauren, it's really nice out there here throughout the afternoon hours, at least by February standards and above normal temperatures 40 to the north, about 45 through the central portion of the state and low 50s from Bloomington over towards Columbus. Now, as we jump ahead to tomorrow, tomorrow we start off in the 40s. It's a real mild morning and it's the warmest day of the work week with temperatures between 55 and 60 degrees. The problem is tomorrow it becomes really, really windy out there as we could see some wind gusts tomorrow, 30 to 40 miles per hour, if not even a little bit more than that as we get into the evening hours, one to two inches of rainfall comes in on a Thursday with the precipitation being rain changing over to snow. But Thursday morning plan on heavy rainfall and then throughout the day on Thursday, the rain will be heavy at times. Flood watches are posted across the entire area.